Hey everyone, I was watching news last night about this uh, prom goes bust. Now, the girl, uh, her name is Brittany Miller, showed up at the prom night when she was excited as as many other 17 old students to do the biggest dance night of the year. Now, the problem was she was denied to enter the dance floor because of her large chest, her breasts, because it was showing too much. But the problem is, I agree with her parents, and most of you other ladies out there too will probably agree that there's no one size fit all with your chest, with your breasts. Because it's hard to find, there's small, medium, large, you never know what you're going to get. Like, like you born with them, knowing what you want, what size of breast you're going to get. But it was disgraced, and the administrator of that school asked her to put something else on, cover her chest, and she went out to up to Canon to get that particular chest. Um, she's forty. She's a forty. Triple D, full figure woman. Now, Kimberly is no matter where. Kimberly said, no matter where they looked, hard so hard they couldn't find a single dis decent gown that fit her daughter. I know it's hard to find the right gown. It's like wedding dresses. You got wedding dresses and your bridesmaids, they have to fit the right size. Now, for a prom, um, it's just not right um, for what the school did. They said there's rules, yes, but the rules here, she went out, prom dresses are not cheap to get, including what she had to go through and find the right one to fit her. There's not much. I used to work at Walmart. I see these girls come in nice prom, prom dresses. And this is the only one time you can enjoy your life before school is all over at the end of the year. And enjoy. She wore a strapless dress, and those uh, those with skinny straps are allowed to provide cleavage of midriff or the lower back are covered. Now, the district footman uh, David Bill said he thinks the registration is fairly straightforward. I think it's spelled out pretty clear. Now, this released a uh, statement Tuesday on the matter, which said if the student appearance does not meet the Dress code, the staff helps the students come up with a solution so they can still attend the school functions. But if you're not, these teachers and their staffs and district managers, district superintendents, they should have children. They should understand uh, from what sizes. You can't control the breast all the time of well go have surgery and get the right dress to cover up you. Um you don't want to be stuffed in a parm dress, do you guys? I don't think so. You'd be like the old fashioned get one of those old fashioned girl things that you have to pull the string so tight you can't breathe. Then what they would do, have somebody dying on the floor because of their dress code. So, all in all, she was, the girl was was unhappy the rest of the time at the prom dress. She was only there for an hour, and she decided to go home. And I don't blame her after all that. Uh, but the menders want answer from administrators. Ministers, they said the district has no response except to remind them of what Brittany, a form that Brittany signed.
Kimberly said she wants to know what was the different diff this time that was fine in the past. And we have no idea what's going on on their heads. So school officials are getting a little out of hand of dress codes and some can't fit in a prom dress. So what do they do? They're supposed to come in blue jeans and a t-shirt? I don't know. But let me know. I'm with this girl and I saw the video and it's just not right. She is a a hefty, a hefty girl, but you can't tell your boobs and breasts to be a certain size to fit a dress. I'm sorry. So tell me what you think about it. Talk to you later. Bye now.